Hello, my friends, and welcome back. <sighs> Today, we're taking a look at some content from Fat Fab Feminist. She was featured recently in a video here. Today, she's going to educate us on how doing this with your neck is offensive to fat people. So pull up a couch and let's watch. All right, here we see this man doing the double chin neck thing. Okay. I'm not sure what the purpose of this video is. And now here is Fat Fab Feminist looking happy. And she says, can we stop doing this? Forcing double chins for the before when doing your little transitions only reinforces the idea that they are something inherently ugly and something that needs to be fixed. It may seem frivolous to you, but it's little things like this that continue to perpetuate fat phobia further. Yeah, it may seem frivolous to you, because it is, but to me it's a huge deal, because I have a double chin. So, uh, when you guys do that, it angers me. Well, I mean, you can either be unbothered by the fact that you have a double chin, or you can be angered by it. That's your two options, and I guess you're choosing the latter. Why do you look like you're about to cry right now? Take it easy, man. Get off the internet. Why do you look like you're about to cry from a post that somebody made on TikTok, man? You need to go outside more. I don't mean that to be insulting, like seriously, if you're crying over shit, or like you're recording like your face looking all sad and emotional in response to like a TikTok that somebody made, dude, come on, come on, man. That's some cornball shit. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the next clip where she expounds upon this idea further. All right, this person's comment is responding to the video that we just saw where she was complaining that people doing the double chin thing is like harmful and it perpetuates fat phobia and all this nonsense. And then they're saying, this is definitely grasping at straws. I'm gonna have to go ahead and agree with them here. Um, yeah, you're running out of stuff to complain about. Why do y'all get so upset when someone asks you to do something like very, very simple? that doesn't harm your life in like literally any way. So you think it's perfectly reasonable for you to request people to stop doing stuff that they were previously doing. Um, you, some random person who they do not know, just coming up to them and be like, hey, you, you know that thing you were doing a minute ago, like going like this? Could you uh, stop doing that? It's bothering me. Um, yeah, no, you're kind of insane if you believe that anybody would be okay with that. My response would be like, uh, mind your business, alright? If it bothers you, then stop looking at it, alright? You're like, guys, it's not too big of a request, okay, for you to just change your behavior to suit me. It kind of is, though. It kind of is a huge, huge deal. No, you're some random person that I do not know. Get fucked. I was literally just asking. Right, and then they literally probably were just like, no. We won't stop doing that. Thanks for asking, but no, I'm going to keep doing what I was doing. Like, hey, maybe could we not do this? No, we maybe could do whatever we felt like doing to begin with without your input. Because it reinforces this stereotype. It reinforces a stereotype. Guys, don't go like this. It's not just a stupid thing you're doing with your neck. You're straight up reinforcing stereotypes. All right, knock it off. And what stereotype is that? Uh, the stereotype that um, it's ugly to have a double chin, I guess? That's not a stereotype, that's a personal preference. I'm not saying that you can't, because- We don't care if you are saying that we can't. We're gonna do whatever we feel like doing, uh, boss. All right, boss, we're gonna keep doing what we feel like doing. Ultimately, you're gonna do whatever you want. Like, yeah, I- That is correct. <laughs> it was just me asking. It's like, oh, this is a stretch, but like, no. Okay. All right, well, I got a request for you. Will you take those earrings out of your ears? They're bothering me. I don't like them. So, uh, yeah, please stop wearing those from now on. They're perpetuating the stereotype that all fat people wear giant earrings. All right, so, um, yeah, could you please do that? The stuff that you're doing with yourself, please change it for me. The entire point of these transitions is to go from ugly to attractive. Like, that is it, right? And if you're before is double chin, glasses, acne, whatever. All the stuff that you look like? 
tell me that you're bitter and jealous without telling me that you're bitter and jealous. She's like, if your before picture looks like... And then she starts describing the stuff. And <laughs> she's like, the glasses, the double chin, the wacky earrings. And then she's like, wait a minute. I am the before picture. <laughs> well, that's why I am so personally upset about this, because I am the before picture. And then she just has a breakthrough mentally, and then she stops with all these postings from now on, and goes on to live her life and lose weight. Oh man, wouldn't that be great if in the middle of making this TikTok she had that realization? She's all like, that's why I'm so angry. All their before pictures look like me, implying that I am not complete, that I have work to do. To be a normal, complete person, I have to lose all this weight. This implies that I have a shortcoming as a human being, and it's my fault. My very own fault. I am responsible for my own actions. And then she just, like, completely changes and immediately changes her diet and loses a bunch of weight. Man, in my America, this will happen. Elect me president, dude. Whenever the next year is that we can vote or whatever, um, yeah, vote, vote me. Vote for me, dude then that is reinforcing the idea that those traits are ugly that those traits are ugly why did your voice crack all right man you're making me sad um honestly you're like you're reinforcing the idea that those traits are ugly and her voice cracks and like it's like all right man i see that your feelings are getting hurt here um just don't watch those like don't watch the transition videos of people going from fat and ugly to thin and attractive why would you watch that if it's hurting your feelings, uh, don't watch it. If it's really hurting your feelings that much, you can either watch it and get inspired by it, or you can watch it and get your feelings hurt by it. Or if you don't want to engage with those thoughts at all, you could just not watch it. Um, I'm sorry that it's hurting your feelings, but you don't have to watch it. Right? And again, like I have no problem with my double chin. I find it fine. I like it. I think it's cute. But like not everybody feels that way and I understand that okay if you like it and you think it's fine then why are you getting triggered by somebody else pantomiming like they have a double chin if you think yours is cute and you're fine with it then why is this triggering you it kind of seems like you're not okay with it and not fine with it and maybe you don't think that your double chin is so cute you see <clears throat> when you have an emotional response to something like this like there's just some random thing that just makes you all angry as a person. You should pay attention to that and you should examine it, right? Like let's say you're a straight man and anytime you see like gay people or whatever, it makes you angry or something. You know, you might want to you might want to explore that. You know, you know, why am I so angry seeing people be gay? Is it because I'm gay? On the inside I am secretly gay. It might be. You never know. But either way, my point is that when you have intense anger towards a certain thing, and it like really riles you up and makes you angry, you should immediately focus your attention inward to yourself and be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why am I getting so angry at this thing? Like, and then you're gonna find shortcomings within yourself and your own psyche. This thing is triggering you to such an emotional response because of stuff within you. It's got nothing to do with these other people, man. All right, this is all a you problem. You gotta look within. Why does it trigger you so much when people do the double chin thing? Um, did people used to make fun of you for that or something? Um, do you see yourself from weird angles in the mirror where it really accentuates the double chin and it's making you feel bad? Or Obviously something is making you feel bad and your anger is a way to cover up and lash out. But you don't have to reinforce this idea that it's ugly. You want to make a thirst trap, but like you're attractive either way. Like you're already attractive and I get you want to be like dramatic, you know, but like there are other ways, like there are other ways to do it. Dude, why do you care so much how other people are expressing their weight loss journey or whatever? The fact that you care about how somebody else is showing their weight loss journey or whatever shows that you're riddled with personal issues that you haven't yet worked out, as I was just saying a moment ago. You need to explore those. Don't focus outward at stuff that's making you feel emotional. Focus inward at why this stuff is making you feel emotional. Pro tip. Without, you know, perpetuating this negative stereotype. Again, the only reason I'm posting this is because I'm sure, like, if you're not a fat person, like, maybe you didn't think of it like that. Maybe you didn't think, oh, you know, this is something that's, like, not cool. Like, if I wasn't fat, maybe I wouldn't notice it either. But, you know, I'm telling you, this is something that is, like, not that cool. 
to you. There's a lot of stuff that I don't think is cool. I don't go and tell that person, hey, that's not cool. Dude, if I went around telling everybody about all the stuff that they do that I think is not cool, oh man, I would never, I would never end. I would never stop. I'm so unimpressed <laughs> with most people that I would just be going around saying negative crap to people all the time, and they would quickly tire of me. Um, is that why nobody came to my birthday party? Maybe. But either way, um, it's not a good look for you or me. So let's be positive together. You see this level of concern on your face? It shouldn't be there. So could you maybe, like, I don't know, stop doing it? No. <laughs> Nobody's gonna change their behaviors to better suit you because it made you uncomfortable. Unless they are directly affecting you. We used to have this saying back in the day, and it went like this. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I have an even better one. I have a more advanced version of that for adults, and it goes like this. You cannot control what people say to you, but you can control how you react to it. Multiple people in my comment section right now, like, fighting me on this, when, like, it, I'm just asking, could you maybe not do this? Like, it <laughs> Dude, stop asking. <laughs> Why are you holding on to this? Just be like, all right, all right, I'm sorry I asked. Like, but you just keep on doubling down. You're like, no, 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 just, just stop. Guys, please, come on, I'm just asking. Guys, guys, I know that this is not coming off well and everybody hates this request, but could you guys please just alter your personal behavior for my benefit, please? It made me feel a certain kind of way. Come on, guys, come on. It is a simple, simple request. Dude, no it's not. You're asking people to change their behavior. No. Will you stop wearing necklaces, please? I don't like it. It's bothering me. Get those necklaces out of here, please. And y'all are fighting for your ability that nobody's taking away from you. It is a simple ask to be more empathetic and understanding of the people around you. I know, and so is my request for you to remove those necklaces. It really wouldn't even be hard for you to just unclasp it from the back of your neck and put it in your pocket or whatever. I don't understand why like, you insist that like this is my personal space and I can occupy it however I wish. I don't know why you're so steadfast on that argument, madam. To just be kinder, like I get nobody's for- Please, just be kind. Come on, dude. These necklaces, they're driving me nuts. Nobody's asking you to change your whole lifestyle, dude. It's just a necklace. Asking you to be kind or a good person or considerate, but like, you could be. Like, you could be nice. You could be kind. You like, you could do a good thing. Like, why are y'all so against that? You know, perhaps some people are triggered by people going like this because it, like, looks like you have double chins and maybe they think that you're making fun of a fat person or whatever. But maybe they're not. Maybe they were doing their before and after thing or whatever. There are a million things that can offend a million people. You never know what might offend somebody. So we can't go around tiptoeing on eggshells all the time about wacky random stuff that has nothing to do with anything. Example, I used to work with this dude named Doug. One time I called him Douglas, and he wigged the f*** out. He's like, my father used to call me Douglas, I hate that name. I told you before, don't you ever call me Douglas. And I was just like, whoa, dude, I don't recall that conversation. I definitely would have remembered that because you're getting psychotic as hell. <laughs> like, like, bro, like he was ready to like fight me because I called him Douglas. I was like, all right, Douglas, like, fucking, and he's just like... Like, I was just, I don't know, sometimes I like to say the long version of people's name just because it's fun, I guess. I don't know, you know? Instead of calling you Tom, I'm like, alright, Thomas. I would have remembered that conversation because you're getting psychotic as hell. You never told me not to call you Douglas. But anyway, my point is that you never know what might randomly trigger somebody, right? You might say to your friend, hey, Tom, man, that's a beautiful Mustang right there, huh? Beautiful car, love it. Nice and fast and yada yada yada. And then Tom is like, my dad got run over by a Mustang. Okay. You ever have that happen to you when you're just talking about whatever random thing and it happens to correlate to something horrible that happened to somebody or whatever and then that person just has to bring it up like that? Like, like yeah, my dad was killed by a Mustang, actually. And you're just like, oh. Um. Damn. Well. I guess we can't be happy anymore for the next, like five or ten minutes at least we're gonna have to wait before we can go back to talking about happy stuff and being happy again huh all right i'm gonna look sorrowful for like the next five minutes 
Man, I'm sorry to hear that, Tom. You know, like, this is one part of a larger issue. And like, everyone's like, oh, you're so sensitive. Like, you know what? Actually, maybe I am. Yeah, this is part of a larger issue within you. But like, could y'all not just be considerate? And where does this consideration end, madam? Who else should I be considerate of? People with schizophrenia that think that they're a dolphin? Hmm? We gonna make dolphin toilets for them now? If you get that reference, you can go ahead and leave a comment about it. And what else are we gonna be considerate of? These days, people feel uncomfortable about all kinds of stupid, moronic stuff. I'm not gonna go around making special accommodations for all these people and their moronic requests. I'm sorry. I once got beat up by a man in a tank top, so please change it. I don't feel comfortable around men because a man did something to me once. Can we please never be around them? You know, see, there's a lot of unreasonable requests that people make based on stuff that happened to them in the past. I cannot accommodate these requests. They are unreasonable. Because it's not just me. There are dozens of people in my comments who are also agreeing that they're uncomfortable with it. Like, it's not just me. Okay, then don't view the content if you're uncomfortable with it. Right? And, like, it doesn't harm you to not do that. It does harm me to alter my behavior to benefit someone else. That takes away from me as a human being. If I alter my behavior to suit you, that takes away from me as a human being. That takes away from my individuality and my right to expression, my freedom to exist in whatever way that I want, as long as I'm not doing anything to anybody else. So actually, yeah, that affects me in a huge way. Go on in depth and explain how these seemingly minuscule things are actually indicative of a larger problem and perpetuate the phobia in our society. And perpetuate fat phobia in our society? What? And perpetuate fat phobia in our society? Do they? I don't know. I don't know about all that. I think you, uh, I think you just have a lot of issues. But like, I know y'all don't care. Then why did you make this video? So, the simpler thing is for me to just ask to like, be nice. That's all. Like, I'm just asking y'all to be considerate. And like, think about your actions before you like, post things on the internet to get millions and millions of views. Like, that's literally it. Alright, I guess I missed the part where the person in question was like, Hey, you, fat, fab feminist. You are fat. I don't like that or whatever. I don't, I missed that part, I guess. Like, I saw a guy making a video about a chin or something. Um, and he didn't have shit to do with you. He didn't call you out. He didn't even mention you. You saw something that looked like you and you took offense to it because you identified with it. You're like, hey, double chins, that's me. Hey, that's a negative thing that he's portraying. Hey, that's me. Like you, you put all that information into your own brain and you ran it through your little filters, through your like, oh my God, the whole world is out to get me filter. And then you came up with that. The dude doesn't even know you exist. And uh, I think that Fat Fab Feminist uh, was referencing me in a video that they made recently when they were talking about uh, middle-aged men with gray hair not getting the joke that you made about whatever. Like, when I made that video about Fat Fab Feminist before, um, where they were wearing the revealing clothes or whatever, I guess they made a response video to that somewhat. They didn't mention me by name, but they said a middle-aged old man with gray hair and that, like, I didn't get the joke or something. Like, her walking around in revealing clothes, I guess, was a joke that I didn't get or something. I don't know. Hit me up in the comments below, uh, Fat Fab Feminist, and maybe explain the joke to me. I'm a little old, maybe a little slow, so I guess I don't get it. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.